Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Bashan, Rekakodash, double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. In this lesson will be entitled Off the Wall. Lord, will you are edified. This video was inspired by a video on the page of Daily Edification daily exhortation this is the page of apostle gabar and his video is entitled don't be a camp wallflower be a man of action first timothy 6 and 12 fight the good fight of faith and within this fight we have to grow in this truth you can't be a wallflower Lay hold on eternal life. The only way we are going to lay hold on to eternal life, we must fight the good fight of faith. We have to be off the wall. Whereunto thou art also called and has professed a good profession. And this is the greatest profession in the entire world. Okay. And this profession has great retirement benefits, case in point. Matthew nineteen twenty-eight, And Yahweh shall say unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which shall follow me in the regeneration, referring to the kingdom of heaven, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Okay. This is what I meant, referring to that retirement benefit. Our faith leads into salvation, which leads into a kingdom. Lord will, we are the hopeful elect. A good profession before many witnesses. Revelation 3 and 11. Behold, I come quickly, referring to Yahweh Shah. Hold that fast which thou hast. Meaning what? Our position within this truth. And within this process, we cannot be a wallflower. We must grow. Okay? We must be off the wall. That no man take thy crown. Right? Because if you're relaxed, if you're not doing nothing, if you're not growing, best believe someone can come in and take your position. You know, me personally speaking, I want to be saved. But most importantly, I want to be within the 144,000 Lord will. I want to be somebody in the kingdom. That's my mindset. Okay. Philippians 3 and 8. Yea, doubtless. And I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Mashiach Yahweh my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win Mashiach. When we focus on dung, according to the Greek, Strong's G, 4657, Skubalon, Skubalon. And it means of things worthless and detestable, okay? Everything Apostle Paul lost for this truth, okay? He stated that it was worthless in the comparison of attaining the kingdom of heaven. This is a winner's mindset. Okay. This is tunnel vision. 
This is an example of being off the wall. Okay. And within this process, you grow, you excel. When we focus on excellency, according to the Greek, Strong's G 5242, Huper Echo, Huper Echo. And it states to have or hold over one, to stand out, rise above, over top, because the Most High had placed his spirit on Apostle Paul to be dedicated slash committed. Okay? And therefore, he stood out. Case in point. First Peter <clears throat> twenty sixteen Slakia. It's second Peter three and sixteen, my bad. Second Peter. Let's start at verse 15. An account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul also, according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you, as also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, and which are some things hard to be understood. Apostle Paul was on a level. He was committed. He was off the wall. Which they that are unlearned and unstable rest as they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction. This is an example of the level Apostle Paul was on. Okay. Back in Philippians 3 and 8. To be above, be superior in rank, authority, power. To excel, to be superior, better than, to surpass. Okay? And this scripture shows you the intimate relationship Apostle Paul had with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Now remember, Yahweh Shah taught Apostle Paul in the spirit for three years. Okay? And best believe, Apostle Paul, when he wasn't doing the work, he was studying, researching. Okay? And all of this was within the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. <clears throat> all right, this comes from um. Hamza Khan, okay, <clears throat> and it states, Kobe Bryant on 400 shots per day. <clears throat> Kobe Bryant's work ethic is legendary. In high school, Bryant showed up at 5 a.m. and left practice at 7 p.m. daily. Till date, he doesn't leave the court until he sinks a couple hundred Shots each day. It's another point. That wasn't it.
Okay, BleacherReport.com. The difference between Kobe and LeBron is that Kobe works. When Kobe was developing his jumper, he would spend his offseason making 2,000 shots a day. Not taking, making. With one ball and one rebounder, Kobe can make 500 shots in about 60 minutes. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. Dedication slash commitment. Okay. And from a spiritual sense, Apostle Paul stayed inside that spiritual gym. Okay. And we must do this as well. All right. We must grow in this thing. You have to see ongoing growth within you. Second Timothy 2 and 15, study to show thyself approved unto the Most High, a workman that need not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Can't be a wallflower. We must be off the wall. Lord will, you edify, shalom.